starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. ever think of using a gate? This your fence? Certainly it ain't my fence. If it was, it'd be posted. Why, there's a gate less than a quarter of a mile down the road. Why do you want to go busting up a fence? <laughs> Let's get out, Tim. Just like a city tenderful. Think the country's just public property or something. Get me the hammer and the staples in the back there. Uh, thank you, Timmy boy. If I had my way, I'd pass a law to keep men like that where they belong, in one of them great big office buildings. Did you have a good time at the carnival? Boy, did I. Mm. I rode all the rides, and I saw all the sideshows, and I even saw a magician saw a lady in half. And he really did it. Oh, I'll bet he did. <laughs> Are you hungry? Not exactly. We had little stuff at the carnival. Pizza, hot dogs, cotton candy. And popcorn and candied apples and corn on the cob. Yeah. Lassie, I think Timmy feels the same way. They ripped out the wire and trumped it down. Paul, if I catch any of them Sunday hunters in my property, I'll... You hear that? That's them. I thought they'd be heading this way. Why do... Barn. I, I, I get a better idea. Uh, them smart Alex want to hunt? Well, I aim to give them a hunt. Give me the little critter. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing that for? I don't know. Timmy, get me a piece of heavy cord. 
about 12 feet of it. You know, I still can't figure out what devious plan is wandering around on that head of yours. Oh, simple. Them city fellers come out to the country for a little exercise and outdoor activity. Well, I don't figure this little raccoon will give them too much. Will this do? That'll do fine, Timmy, and, and you take the steak. Wholesale. Shabbat. With the scent of the little raccoon on this towel, oh, I'll give him a run or wear him to a frazzle. <laughs> Today's my day to be a kid. <laughs> Come on, Timmy boy, let's have some fun. Now, you tie the string onto this towel, see? Reach way out and drag it alongside the rope. You know, I think it's kind of mean. I feel sorry for those hunters. I feel sorrier for the farmer with a broken fence. And here, put a little loop around the little raccoon, huh? Here we go. Oh, I guess this is far enough, Timmy. You better pull in the towel. Not yet. Let's warn some more. No, I don't think so, Timmy. You see, dumb as them fellas are, they'll smell a rat if we keep sticking to the road. Lassie doesn't have to stick to the road. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, Timmy. That is right. Drag it over there in the brush, see? Uh, don't step on the trail. I'll drive around the bend and pick you up. Okay. Well, what do you know? Uh, hollow log. <laughs> Is it? Say, be kind of funny if the scent led through that log now, wouldn't it? Huh? No, no, not the towel, Timmy, no. Better send the little raccoon through. <laughs> now, be a good fella and run through there, will you? Huh? Get. Lassie. Lassie, you take this and drag it wherever you're gonna mind to. The rougher the better. You heard Mr. Wilson, Lassie. The rough the better. Now run. Run and go home. <laughs> I guess this is what you call a practical joke. Just about the best I ever saw. Jay, we'll let them vandals pass and let the little coon go. Okay. You're safe now. Well, let's go. Come on, boy. Come on. Let's go.
What's the matter? I'm beat. Look, I'll go by myself and get the dog. No, no, hold it. I'll never be able to find my way out of this jungle. You want to pay the price for that pedigree now? Watch your step around in here. an accident. Brownie! Brownie. 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 Oh. Brownie was an accident. Oh. Can you hear me, Brownie? Oh. Oh. Brownie, can you hear me? Oh, thank heaven you're still alive. Brownie was an accident. I stumbled and the gun went off. Oh. Brownie, you all right? Oh. Brownie, listen. I'm going to go for help. Well, where is he? I don't know. Out in the woods someplace. I've been walking for hours. Is he badly hurt? Real bad. You've got to help. Ruth, call Doc Stewart. Yes. Dad, I bet Lassie could find him. She made the trail that they were following. Take it easy, mister. We'll find him. Hello, Jenny. Uh, Jenny, would you get me Doc Stewart, please? No, no, no. We're all fine. What? Oh, he's out on a call. Well, uh, will you tell him to call me just as soon as you hear from him? All right, fine. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ruth, I'm going out to find his partner. You give him something to eat, huh? Right. <sighs> Amateurs with guns. Always an accident. Pick up Cully on the way. As soon as you hear from Doc Stewart, send him after us. The truck will be parked at the point where we enter the woods. He can wait there. All right, I'll tell him. Well, fine, let's go. Recognize that hollow log? I sure do. That's where we are. We start from here. What's wrong, Lassie? <laughs> Hold it. 
Timmy, that's the way the wind. The lassie hit it off there. Ah, oh, you think I don't know what I'm doing? Look at the trail they left, plain as day. Maybe we better follow Lassie Cully. She might be taking a shortcut. The one trying over to dog can, but a man can't. Follow me. Casual. You recognize where we are? Uh, I hate St. Paul, but we've crossed this rail three times. You mean we're lost? Uh, try it again, son. Maybe that was a bark we heard. He's alive. I'll help you lift him. He's too heavy to carry, Paul. What do we do? Well, we've got to get some help right away. Doc Stewart must be at the edge of the woods, right near the pickup. Lassie can get him. Go to the pickup, Lassie. Go to the truck. Bet she could. Lassie, go back to the pickup truck and get Doc Stewart and lead him back here. She'll get him. I know she will, Dad. Let's just put our jackets around him until the doc gets here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I understand, Doctor. I'll take very good care of him. Thank you very much, Doctor. 
The doctor says Brownie can go home today. He's going to be all right. Uh, Mr. Wilson and Timmy went out to search for your hound, Mr. Caswell. Lassie found him by the hollow log. And since Lassie helped to lose him, it's only fair that she should help to find him. It was only supposed to be a practical joke, Mr. Caswell. But it didn't turn out to be so funny. It's all my fault. I'm old enough to know better than be acting like a non kid. So are Brownie and I. Knocking down all those fences and playing like a couple of hunters who knew how to handle a gun. Well, this trip has certainly been an education for me. And I want to thank you, Mrs. Martin, for all your kindness. Well, thank you, Mr. Caswell. We're always glad to be of help. And thank you, Lassie. Whoever said a dog was a man's best friend certainly had you in mind. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.